This video will discuss how to compute out-of-plane angles from molecular XYZ coordinates. Okay, so an out-of-plane angle is the fourth kind of um, internal coordinate that we're going to discuss for the geometry of molecules. Thus far we talked about bonds, angles, and torsions, and showed how to build Z matrices out of those type of coordinates. So out-of-plane angles aren't essential for describing the geometry of molecules, but um, sometimes they're used in terms of describing the types of uh, uh, energy functions we're going to see in the next chapter in molecular mechanics. So we're really bringing them up just to uh, have our bases covered once we get there. Okay, so this out-of-plane angle we could define as an angle by which a vector uh, lies out of a plane. So in the case here, our smallest prototypical sort of example molecule here would be formaldehyde, CH2O. We have a central carbon atom bonded to an oxygen, bonded to a hydrogen, and another hydrogen. So this carbon and this oxygen are in a double bond, making this an sp2 hybridized carbon. Thus, we expect the geometry of this molecule to be pretty much planar. We expect these bond angles to be approximately 120 degrees, and all four of these atoms to lie approximately in the same plane. So when that is not exactly the case, we get the following situation, where I have these diagrammed over to the right, where I might indicate these as atoms I, J, K, and L, where atoms J, K, and L form a plane. And then we have vector Li going from atom L to atom I. And this vector forms an angle with this plane. So if atom I is in this plane, then the plane and the vector are parallel. And this angle, uh, gamma I, J, K, L, that's going to go to 0. So the biggest it can be is up to positive 90 degrees, where it's aligned with this normal vector, this perpendicular vector from the plane. And the furthest it can be away on the other side is negative 90 degrees. So this is a signed value. It can go from 90 to negative 90 inclusively. And for the most part, we're expecting this formaldehyde molecule for that to appear somewhere in the range of zero for us to have this type of sp2 planar 120 degree geometry. Okay, so what do we need in a molecule for us to consider um, an out-of-plane angle to be present or relevant to the structure? So what we would need is we would need atoms I and L, these two, and atoms J and L, these two, and atoms K and L, all to be bonded to one another. So every other atom in this quartet is bonded to atom L under this type of... Uh, under these indices that I've indicated here. Um, take some uh, caution if you see these from other sources because there are different conventions as far as which atoms these are, as far as, you know, one, two, three, and four. They might have some different convention. Just pay attention to the context of where you're looking. Okay, so from our previous video on torsions, we discussed how to get a normal vector to a plane. So we have plane JLK. And we want to get this normal vector, n hat jlk, which is a unit vector, which has a magnitude of 1, length of 1, perpendicular to this plane. So to do that, we would take the cross product, as defined in the torsion video, cross product of unit vectors jl, so uh, rjl, well, this is rlj, yeah, unit vector jl and unit vector kl and take their cross product, divide that by sine of theta JLK, so this angle down here, and that will give us the normal vector to the plane JLK. So now what we do to get our out of plane angle is we take the dot product of this unit vector with unit vector R hat LI. So the dot product of those two is equal to, if you work through the math, that's equal to the cosine of 90 degrees minus our phi angle here. So this uh, dot product is the cosine of the complement of this out of plane angle. But if you know your trig functions, you can show that the cosine of 90 minus x is equal to the sine of x. So the cosine of 90 minus phi is equal to sine of phi. So to get our angle, we just take the arc sine of this, 
So we get phi, or I've been calling this phi, this is gamma. Learn your Greek letters. Okay, gamma, I, J, K, L, equals arc sine, r hat L, J, cross, r hat L, K. The result of that, dot, r hat L, I, divided by sine, theta, J, L, K. Okay, so as I mentioned, um, that's the return argument of an arc sine. So the domain of that, or the, I guess the range, depending on how you view it, is going to be from positive 90 degrees down to negative 90 degrees. Um, and there is a symmetry there where uh, gamma i, j, k, l, if you switch which one of these is j and which one is k, so if you switch the two of these, then this normal vector is going to fl flip down to the other side. It's going to flip its sign, so the angle is going to flip its sign as well. So phi, uh, gamma i, j, k, l is equal to negative gamma i, k, j, l. So as before with torsions, as we mentioned, there are going to be uh, on the order of n to the fourth atomic quartets to compare in this case n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 and then this is the only symmetry which saves us from uh, some redundancy so a factor of 2 there so there are going to be you know at most a linear number of outer pl out of plane angles and there's a quartic number of atom quartets so in the program that I'm going to show you I have this uh, done where I use the bond graph to do uh, comparisons which uh, don't make me do a quartic amount of work. Okay, so moving along to our programs as we've been using in this chapter. So these again coming from my uh, GitHub account, the Computational Chemistry Repository. This same kind of uh, directory structure that you can clone or download as you like. Um, so that um, down in there in coding, so in the scripts, geometry analysis, subdirectories, there is a program called outofplanes.py, which I use to compute all the stuff we've done thus far in this chapter, including bonds, angles, and torsions, now including some extra functions for out of planes, print out of planes. Let's see, what else is some new stuff we're going to have here? There's the out of plane angle function. What else is new? And then uh, going through the bond graph and figuring out where the out of planes angles are. Then main block printing out all that stuff. So in the notebook again, from the top level directory, I have a directory called notebooks. And then I made this geometry analysis notebook over here, where in Jupyter, I'm going to run this out of planes script. If you run it without any input arguments, it tells you the usage. Just put an XYZ file name after the script name, and then we'll go to town. So I'm going to go back up one directory, tab, uh, go to geom, tab, xyz, tab, and what I want, I want to run this on our uh, ch2o, on our formaldehyde, if I have one in there. Do I have one in there? Good question. Okay, well, I guess we have to find another one. All right, that didn't work out so well. I should have an I should have a CH2O in there, unless I'm just blind and can't read right now. Um, all right, so let's go and uh, take a look at VMD. So VMD up here, I have this uh, CH2O file, which I had to get from somewhere. So yes, I'll be figuring out where that was. All right. So we have this here, and now I'm just going to play a trajectory where I kind of have an exaggerated motion of this. So this is kind of what it looks like when our bonds and angles are staying the same, but our out-of-plane angle is changing. So here's the plane. Uh, the plane is moving and the oxygen is staying pretty much the same. Look like we're oscillating from an out-of-plane angle of about plus 15 degrees to minus 15 degrees here during that oscillation. So let's see, where is this located at? I guess I can go all the way up to desktop where I have that. Up one more. Desktop. All right. There it is. Let's see if it'll work on this. All right, so that worked. All right, so initially we have... It gives me my XYZ file back that I gave it. It says it found three bonds. 
there's the bond lengths, three bond angles, there are the bond angles in degrees, no torsions, um, that's consistent with what we've been showing, and then the out of plane angles, it gave some extra ones, but I believe the one we were interested in was this OHHC. Uh, one of those three was the one I'm talking about. Again, be careful to uh, take care of how the indices work. But I said about uh, 20 degrees, 15 degrees is about the order of magnitude of this oscillation that's occurring there. All right, so that is the basics of out-of-plane angles.